Hi, I'm Tim. And on behalf of the entire Apollo family, I'm super excited that you've chosen us for your RV experience. I'm about to share with you all the tips and tricks on operating your RV. So your two best friends on your travels will be your Apollo Connect app and the how-to guide. With the Apollo Connect app, you can find local points of interest, get prepared for your road trip with our safe drive and how-to videos. And with our friends at Campstay, find and book campgrounds and holiday parks. Your second best friend will be the how-to guide. The how-to guide contains all the relevant instructions on the features of your chosen RV. First of all, we'll quickly run through the symbols used throughout the how-to guide. No driving during procedure. This symbol indicates that the procedure cannot be completed whilst the vehicle is in motion. Requires electricity. This symbol indicates the procedure is only available when you're connected to 240 mains power at a campground. Requires gas. This symbol indicates the procedure functions with LPG from the gas bottle. Requires battery. This symbol indicates the 12 volt battery system is required for the operation. Use dump station. This symbol indicates the procedure should only be performed at a registered dump station. You've got a bunch of keys with your six berth. A vehicle remote, you've got a compartment key and a fresh water key. Main door keys, the smaller round one is for the door lock and the larger square one is the deadbolt. We recommend you just use the deadbolt to lock the door. All right, so that's your keys. Just remember, don't separate the keys, don't leave the keys in the ignition and have the keys with you at all times. All right, campers, I'm gonna give you a super quick overview of the outside of your vehicle, starting on the driver's side. So first of all, we've got our toilet cassette exit point right here. Down here, we've got our gray water valve outlet. This is where you're gonna empty the gray water tank. Up here is our exhaust for the hot water system. Make sure you don't park too close to anything or lean anything up against it when you're heating the water because it does get a bit hot. A large tunnel boot storage unit right here. And back here you've got an external shower unit. Just make sure you turn on the water pump before use. All right guys, on the passenger side now here, we've got the other side of the tunnel boot. Fresh water inlet where you're gonna fill the fresh water tank. Two LPG bottles stored right here in this compartment. This is where you're gonna connect your camper to the 240 volt mains power at the campground. We've got a little table right here. These are the vents for the fridge. Just be careful not to cover them, they get a bit hot. Two outdoor speakers up here. We've got the main door here and for easy access, we've got a pull step. And lastly, this is where you're gonna fill up your fuel. You just need to open the passenger side door to access the cap. All right, campers, that was a quick introduction to the outside of the vehicle. Now we're gonna go through each of the features in a lot more detail. All right, guys, connecting your RV to the campground power. First, you'll need your extension lead, which will be back here. Just lift the cap and plug into your RV. Insert the lead into the campsite and turn on. All paid campgrounds will have 16 amp outlets. Make sure the circuit breaker is in the on position. Once you're ready to leave the campground, turn off all appliances prior to disconnecting from the power inlet. Use your thumb to release the lever to pull the power lead out. Disconnect and store the lead before moving your RV. The grey water is water collected from the shower and the sink. Check the level of the grey water tank regularly by pushing the test button. Once full, or every two days, you'll need to empty the tank. Please empty at a registered dump station, displaying this symbol. Retrieve the grey water hose from the compartment and connect to the grey water outlet. Close the two locking pins for a firm connection. When the other end is in the dump point, open the valve. Once empty, close the valve, release the grey water hose and replace the cap. The fresh water tank supplies water to the toilet, shower and sink. We recommend you don't drink this water. We recommend you boil the water if you want to drink it. Check the level of the fresh water tank at the control panel. When you're getting close to empty, or every two days, just simply refill at the water inlet over here. First, you'll need your hose, and using the fresh water key, just open the lock. And when you insert the hose, just make sure the hose is in all the way. Connect the hose to the tap 
using the adapter provided. Once the tank is full, disconnect the hose, remembering to take the adapter with you. The RV comes with two gas bottles that supply LPG to the stove, oven, hot water system, and in some RVs, a three-way fridge. The vehicle must be on level ground for the system to work. When you need LPG, turn on the valve all the way. Please do this slowly, otherwise the gas may freeze in the pipes. Once you've finished cooking or heating water, just make sure you turn the gas off at the bottle. The TV operates on 12 volt system and 240 volt mains power when connected. Switch on at the control panel and use the remote to turn the TV on. Always perform a channel search at each new location. Your RV is equipped with an electronic aerial. Please be aware reception strength will vary depending on where you travel to. There may be two switches for the speakers, one for the inside and one for the outside speakers. Please be courteous to other campers and do not play music too loud on the outdoor speakers. Most fridges use the 12 volt system and the 240 volt mains power when connected. If your RV has a three-way fridge, it will operate using a choice of three sources of power, 12 volt battery, 240 volt mains power, and LPG. When the AES button is on, the fridge will automatically switch between the power sources. It will always use 240 volt mains power when connected. If you're not connected, the fridge will try and use LPG. When driving, your fridge will work off the RV's engine battery. Once you've stopped driving, you'll need to either plug into power or turn the gas on at the bottle to keep the fridge cool. Simply turn on the main control panel and set to the desired temperature. We recommend you use the setting number four. The lights will run off the 12 volt system, but remember to turn them off when not in use or they will drain the battery. Simply turn on and off at the main control panel and also at each individual light. Your RV is equipped with a gas oven and a stove. The stove has three gas burners. You must have the range hood on in order to light the stove. To use the gas burners, push and rotate the dial and hold and push the ignite switch until the gas lights. Continue to hold the dial to ensure the gas stays lit. It's recommended whenever you're using gas inside to open a window to allow for decent ventilation. Once you've finished cooking, wait a while until the stove has cooled down enough before lowering the lid. Your RV has a hot water system that is powered by LPG or mains power and ignited with the 12 volt system. This provides hot water to the shower and tap at the sink. The two switches at the control panel are for the LPG or electricity. Using gas to heat the water, firstly turn on the LPG at the bottle, then turn on the 12 volt water heater switch and select the gas switch at the water heater panel. The green light will light up when the water is being heated. Wait at least 30 minutes for the water to heat. If you see the red light at the water heater switch, there is a fault and the gas has failed to light the system. Wait one minute and start the process again. If it continues to fail, you can perform a hard reset. Switch off the system, turn off the gas at the bottle and go to the hot water system underneath the seat. Most will have a red button you can push which resets the system. Hold the button in for a few seconds and the red light will go out. If the water heater does not have a red button, you will need to reset the system by flicking the gas switch on and off repeatedly until the red light goes out. If you're connected to mains power at the campground, you can use electricity to heat the water. Simply turn on at the control panel by selecting low heat or high heat. Some RVs will have a Truma hot water system. This will only work using the LPG. Turn on the LPG at the bottle, then select 60 degrees on the boiler. Once heated, the hot water can then be used by turning on the 12 volt water pump switch. Your RV has an internal heater that is heated by the LPG and ignited by the 12 volt system. To use the heater, firstly turn on the LPG at the bottle. Switch on the heater switch at the control panel and then select the flame icon to start heating. Adjust the desired temperature with the second dial. 
the green light will come on when heating. If you see the red light come on, the LPG has failed to ignite. To reset the system, turn everything off including the LPG bottle. If your system has red rings here, you'll need to turn the temperature to maximum and quickly turn the selector to the fan icon. The red light should then go out. If your system has black rings here, you'll need to turn the temperature to maximum and quickly turn the selector to the gas icon. Once the red light is out, start the process again. The microwave only operates on mains power. We recommend you stow the microwave plate away before travelling. The cutlery drawer is a handy spot for the plate. The power points allow you to use your 240 volt appliances. These only work when connected to mains power at a campground. The toilet uses water from the fresh water tank and the 12 volt system to flush. Turn on the water pump and the toilet switches before using the toilet. Open the toilet lever. Press the button to flush. Once finished, close the lever. The waste is collected in a cassette, accessed from the outside. Very importantly, the toilet lever will need to be shut before the toilet cassette can be pulled out. Lift the lever to release the cassette and pull out. When you're emptying your toilet cassette, please use a registered dump station just like this one. Unscrew the cap and empty the cassette. When your cassette's empty, just use the hose to give it a nice flush out and you're good to go. Once clean, return it back to its compartment and add one toilet chemical and a brief flush to charge the toilet system. Once you've finished your holiday, return the RV and leave the toilet cassette clean and completely empty. The spacious overcab bed accommodates two adults. For safe, easy access, you use the ladder provided. Please be aware the ladder has a weight limit of 100 kilograms. Make sure the ladder is securely attached here before putting your weight on it. Under the mattress, you'll find a cargo net that you can clip to the roof. It's to be used to store luggage when traveling only. Your RV has a drop down bed in the rear. Remove side cushions and use the button to lower the bed. The bed has a weight limit of 270 kilograms. Please do not have anyone on the bed when raising or lowering. All right guys, that's it from me. Don't forget your two best friends are gonna be your how-to guide and the Apollo Connect app. We wish you all the best on your trip and we'll see you next time. To convert the rear lounge into a bed, undo the table and place in between the seats. Remove the side cushions and use the straight pieces to fill the gap. Use the linen provided and you're ready for a great night's sleep. All right guys, that's it from me. Don't forget your two best friends are gonna be your how-to guide and the Apollo Connect app. We wish you all the best on your trip and we'll see you next time.